All right, so we're back with another video and today's agenda we have a very big hood. What kind of hood? Let's get the light. It is a Ford. What kind of Ford? It is an F-150. And this is the new body style. Actually, I think this is the first one we did with the new body. Is one did they change it? 20, 21? Uh, yeah, 21. The, I think it's 21 they changed the 21? body style. We got Sebastian over here. He went from Chevy gang to GMC gang to Ford gang now, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Appreciate it. a couple of sets and uh, let's check this bad boy out. Oh, look at the interior now. They, it's got, oh, you got that pearl white color too, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pearl white. Oh, look at that big dash in there. Oh, big Ford. A lot of people are going to the big dash, but that's a lot nicer now. Remember those little dashes? You could barely see anything inside there. Yeah. Yeah. That's got quite a bit of room in these. Oh, I like the floor shift. They're good. As before on the other ones, it was always the column one, right? Yeah, the column, that one folds in. It folds down if you want to. Like that, it's all dirty. It folds down with the, yeah, the shifter? shifter? Yeah, if you... If you open or if you have it in park, you can always let me get on that side. Were you guys so, able to buckle up that uh, deflector on there too? No, we got no. But if you press that button, it folds down. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. <laughs> you can only do it while you're in park, though. Yeah, that's what You to got say. like a whole bunch of like if you do the. Like oh, well. your uh, Apple CarPlay and all that stuff is Ooh, it's like all full big... screen. Nice. Well, what do you guys yeah. think of the new F-150? That's dope, that shifter. i never seen yeah. that. <laughs> it's real nice. It's convenient. Yeah. So, like uh, if you want to... But when you're you... in drive, you can't put it... No, it won't yeah, let because you. But, uh, the good thing about this is like... If you're if you have the XLT, I believe, um, that center console folds down and it becomes a table, so you can work from it. Oh wow! It also has like a whole bunch of features. Like if you work outside in the construction, like how I do, you can set your car in park or neutral, whatever, and you can turn certain lights on around the vehicle. It's called zone lighting. Oh nice! So, like with having uh, the screen, you can. On the uh, everything, there's no owner manual or nothing. It's all like digital. It's all it'll all pop Everything's up on your inside screen. There? Yeah. So like, for that zone lighting, there's a setting. As soon as it loads, so you can do zone lighting, and then so I can choose to turn on just that light on that on this mirror on the mirror and then that mirror and then the front headlights and the tail lights so that's all zones and if you close the door you could oh, see oh wow it lights up at night wow that's bright too <laughs> yeah. LEDs. oh yeah so like if you're in a construction site so you could see everything around yeah. you right and stuff or like that or just in general if you're out camping whatever oh, it dope. gives you the option you can also uh plug in like an extension cord and run stuff off of the back of the truck. Oh, like if you're camping and yeah, stuff? Yeah, like if you're camping, you can run nice. certain things off of it. What do you guys think of the F-150, the new one? You gotta get those ugly 18s, right? What are the 18s on here? I believe so, yeah. The up 18s. And what are we going with? We are going with some Archon wheels. Check them out here. And bam! We got the Chrome, uh, the Caesars. Caesars, right, it was? Or the Lincoln? This was the Caesars. Yeah, the Caesar. Caesar, right? Caesar Chrome. Yeah, 22 by 12 with a negative 51. And he's going for that California look, so we got some uh, uh, full weight tires that are directional too. And then hopefully with our calculations, we won't have to cut and trim or anything on there. 
because it's a little less than 33. Um, we just got to see if we have to expand them or see what we have to do with these tires. Hopefully they hit, hit with the bead blaster. If not, we might have to do it with the fire. But stay tuned and get it done. All right, so we're back with the Ford F-150. Look at that nice pearl hitting on there. And bam! We got the Archon Caesars. The 305 40 22, the full ways. This is a negative 51, so it does poke out a little more than your average negative 44. Uh, we did have to trim a little bit of the bumper and the valance, and then we're going to still see you know, how close it is to the edge here. Man, this thing looks good. Chrome wheels always look good on the truck. Not a lot of people do chrome because they want to drive it all year round, but chrome does look good on the truck. What do you guys think in the comment section? You guys like it with the off road with the regular street tire? Or you should have went bigger, smaller? All right, so let's see how this thing uh, looks when we pull it out. I think it looks great. Oh, the blocks. All right, so we're back with the F-150. We did have to do a little bit of trimming inside there in the bumper. Uh, we should have a full turning radius. 
And another thing too, these are true directional wheels. So if you see it, it's a directional tire and a directional wheel. So it goes with the facing of the wheel on there. What do you guys think in the comment section? Appreciate the business, Sebastian. No Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank this you. is uh, the fourth set that you bought for me? Fourth set. Fourth set, yeah. He's always switching up his trucks and he always wanted to do something different. He wants to be a transcender, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> want to switch it up. But yeah, this is a cool truck. I didn't even know that they changed all that stuff on there. Yeah, that's awesome. That shifter is cool, though, how it goes in and out and stuff. Get some more armor. All right, appreciate it. Let's see some rolling footage of you. Thank you. <laughs> appreciate it. Look at that wheel chaps on this thing. So he does do a lot of highway driving, so he wanted something worth a little more mileage and you get a little more mileage out of these tires. All right, let me tell. All right, Sebastian, appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. If you want to trim anything else, just let me know. But uh, if you, it should be good on there, right? Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, appreciate it. Now they do make now. This is a four-cylinder turbo, and I think it's got like 300 horsepower. I'm not a fan of getting rid of the V8s, but all the gas mileage and all that stuff, I could see. They even spun the tires on there. <laughs> all right, so appreciate the support, everyone. We do have our tax sale going on, so CrusaderCustoms.com. Check out our website. New and used uh, rims on sale. First come, first serve on the used stuff. So you don't leave me a deposit. I sell the wheels. They are gone. All right. Stay tuned for more builds. All right. So we're back with another video. And on today's agenda, we have cool color. See the headlights. We have an Audi. What kind of Audi? We have a supercharged Audi the a7 got the nice charcoal and it's got the clear bra on there so if those people who don't know these clear bras are here to protect uh, from rock chips uh, so it's actually a film you can kind of see how it goes over it um, it is replaceable after time on there but sometimes if the car is a little older and you peel it off the paint could come off on there so you have to be careful man this thing is Clean. Big boy Audi. Got the 3.0 turbo. This one's kind of cool. This one has the spoiler that goes uh, up and down. This thing's like in mint condition. Looks like nobody even sat in this car. Got the nice roof. So I think uh, I could be wrong, but I don't think they supercharge the Audis anymore. Uh, but I could be wrong on that stuff. I think they're turbocharged. In the comment section, if you guys know, let me know on there. And what are we going with? We are going with, bam! We got the Lexani turbines. Uh, 22 by nines all the way around. Uh, this one is all wheel drive. Uh, so we did the brush with the stainless steel lip. We got the matching Lexani tires. 
So we are doing a hard color on here. We are doing yellow calipers. Um, I usually don't like doing them. This is a big caliper, so we got to do a lot of primer on there and uh, a lot of coats of yellow. So stay tuned and we'll see how it comes out. And go from there. All right. These are kind of two, like I was just telling me on here, these are real hard to get off. It kind of looks like a lock on there, but it has uh, a cover that covers all the lug nuts and there's a special tool that you pull out with. Usually nobody has those, but uh, we'll get them off and see how it goes. All right, so we're back with the Audi A7. Oh, I think this is a aftermarket grill too, all black like that. I could be wrong. But bam! We got the Lexani turbines. So these are 22 by nines all the way around. Uh, he was gonna do staggered on here, uh, but it is all wheel drive, so he was kind of scared with that on there. So usually if it's staggered from the factory, you could do staggered, I'm just scared with the all wheel drive. Uh, but yeah, we got the 22 by nine with the 245, uh, 255, 30, 22 Lexani matching tires. Got the yellow calipers, got a couple of coats on there. Yellow is one of the harder colors to match, uh, to paint the calipers. But we had to put like four coats on them. Man, yeah, this thing looks good. The offset's perfect. Nice with the stainless steel lip. These aren't true directional, so that's why they're all going in one direction. So some of the uh, forged wheels are uh, with the same direction. All right, so we got the cabinets up too. Still working on that between appointments. So getting. We got those over there. We're gonna probably put some more up over there to put a, uh, hide all our stuff in there. So uh, let's see how the Audi looks when it's moving on there. Oh, another thing too. These we uh, mounted and balanced them, and there is no TPMS sensors on these. They're actually built into ABS. So like some of these vehicles, especially this one, doesn't have it. So um, actually, I think I got to reset it inside there. The spoiler, I think, does go up to after a certain amount of speeds. Everybody's got, got the floodlights, the Audi floodlights, too, that are on the doors. Nice little touch on there. On the back, yep. Look how mint condition these are. I don't think anybody even sit back here.
Wait, what do you guys think in the comment section on the 22 inch Lexani turbines? You guys like them? Too small, too big? You could probably do 24s, but it would be a real skinny tire on there. So he wanted to still the smooth ride on this Audi, so he went with 22s. You guys like it with the brush with the stainless steel lip? I think it goes hand in hand with the chrome around the window. Let us know in the comment section. Stay tuned for more builds. All right, so we're back with another vehicle and we have, what do we have? We have, let's see if you can see by the light. Some people know what it is. It is a Tahoe. Yep. What year is the Tahoe again? 96. Look how clean this thing is. You don't see too many left with the, the uh, running boards around there like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look how clean it's got that blue, nice blue color on there. The running boards. We're about to paint the calipers. Looks like we got newer shocks on there, too, huh? Yep. Just did them at the bottom. The LED tail lights. And the wheels that we are going on is. Bam! We got the IROX. We got the 265 4022, the black with the machine. Got the Vercelli tires. We're going to paint his uh, calipers, uh, that blue color that matches on there. Then let's see how these things look good on there. All right, so stay tuned. Appreciate the business. So, this is uh, the stepson, right? Of uh, of Ken and uh, stepson too, right? Of Ken. Mm -hmm. Actual son. Oh, actual son. Okay, yeah. <laughs> All right. Be up here next with his pop. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so if you guys remember the Tahoe that we just did with the Rahanas, um, that was this car. I think. Yeah, I posted that video, right? Yeah. All right. So stay tuned, and we'll see how they look when we put them on there. All right. So we're back with the Chevy Tahoe. Oh, you even got tinted lights on there, right? Can you tinted them? Got the tinted front and uh, the lights on the bottom. And we got, bam! We got the IROX on there. Yep, with the 265 4022, the Vercellis. Black with the machine. How this thing looks, it almost looks like it's lowered on here. Nice stance. So the two wheel drives, a lot of people don't understand. Back in these years, they do sit lower than the four by fours. Then I think after this year in the 2000s, they made the four by four and two wheel drive the same height and everything, so it didn't make a difference. All right, so we're going to check the turning race. I think we should be perfect on here. It's a nice blue calipers to match this paint. You know, with these Tahoes, you don't need a airbag, right? You got the big metal bumpers now. Now these Chevy Silverados, they make them in plastic. Yeah. <laughs> well, they try to lose the uh, gain more uh, gas mileage and all that stuff. But I mean, it's a bumper. I was cutting one bumper, and I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> this is a perfect example of gas mileage. Half a tank is 50 miles. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Is that a 30 and a half gallon tank. Yep. Let's see some.
you guys think in the comment section on the IROX 22s. Too big, too small, just right. I think it looks perfect on this. Appreciate the business again. Thank you. This is the fifth set in your family right now. One more look on there. Stay tuned for more builds.